Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to the correct views, friends. This just breaks my heart. Um, for one thing, it's, it's not a secret that yours truly is a huge fan of roller coasters. Um, I didn't do the article on the top thrill dragster at Cedar Point. Uh, I thought about it. I guess they have a 420 foot roller coaster that I've ridden probably about 150 times in my life. Part of it sheared off and unfortunately hit one of the patrons. Um, someone who I care about very, very deeply. Uh, worked at Cedar Point. We went there most, I would say, summers repeatedly within anywhere from 20 to 50 times a season. And a season for us was a bit longer since, uh, again, she worked there. Um, amusement parks are where people come to have joy and fun. Amusement parks are where people go to enjoy themselves. Now, I've said on here before, that, and it, stay with me, let me know, especially on Opera News. Give me some comments here if you're watching this on Opera News. God love you. Thank you for finding the show. Welcome aboard. Um... That's where happiness is. And I mentioned on here before that some cultures are simply better than others. And I know that that offends some people, but I mean, I understand. Even, even as a person watching society, I can see, for instance, that Walt Disney uh, may or may not have been into some nefarious things as it relates to the way he numbered the park and how it relates to magical numbers and things like that. But beyond that, Disney has brought us Ariana Grande and a few other things which haven't necessarily been a, let's face it, not exactly a boon to the country or anything. But have you ever looked at a statue of Mickey Mouse, even with everything I said being true? Have you ever looked at a statue of Mickey Mouse and thought that it might be offensive to God? The Taliban does. The Taliban does, because I'm not even going to do it. The Taliban, they are. Remember the remember the, uh, the the photo op that they had with them riding in the bumper cars, as you can see there. I pointed the my screen. That's hilarious. Back cam here. Well, that there is what they did. They didn't just go in and ride the rides. It made it look like, oh, we have come and we're riding the rides and we're having fun. And look, man, as long as you wear a hijab, we're not going to bother you. Even though, as I reported yesterday on the uh, broadcast here on Opera News, the correct views that they were, you know, they killed a woman for not wearing a full burqa, which is basically a trash bag, or because she didn't want to wear a, a cloth trash bag, she was killed. They made it look like, oh, we've come here to Afghanistan, and we're going to have some Afghan fun. It's a word. I made it a word. Hush. We're going to have some Afghan fun. And we I mean, got an amusement park here. That's awesome. I'm glad you built that in the 20 years since America has been gone. We're going to take things over. Yeah, women, you can ride the rides too. Look, we're, ha we're the Taliban. We're having fun. Yeah. UNICEF believed it. We'll get to that in a minute. Dumb deal of the day. Uh, Open India. Uh, Opindia. Opindia. I get it. Uh, Afghanistan, I think it's the first time on the show, Afghanistan, Taliban burns down amusement park in Shaburgan because it had statues, and statues are a harem in Islam. As per reports, the burned down amusement park is not the same from the viral videos. All right, so maybe I missed that one. You get the point. The burned park is from Shaburgan, the capital city of Jalzjan province in northern Afghanistan. Oh, okay, so because it was, a, it, it's a different amusement park, but that makes it much different. I guess I should just shut the camera off. Um, on August 18th, a video emerged, it says, in which an amusement park could be seen burning down to ashes, a place where people took their family to have a little bit of fun. 
Oh, God forbid you have a little bit of fun if you're part of the radical Islam, though. We know, we know where that leads. You end up head cut off. This video has emerged just days after videos of Taliban fighters enjoying rides in go-karts in an amusement park after taking over Kabul went viral on social media. As per reports, it says the burned down amusement park is not the same one. I've already covered that. Look at this, friends. <laughs> And it goes on and on and on. Skip ahead. You get to see what radical Islam brings good things to life, like Tepco or something. Oh, it's going to take forever to load. Forget it. A Twitter user shared their video claiming that the amusement park, or that the Taliban burned down to ashes is the Bukdi Amusement Park at Belga Sherbagan. The reason that the Taliban had given for burning it down is that the park had statues and idols, and idols are haram in Islam. An idol? Does anybody worship the equivalent to the Mickey Mouse that was there? I mean, all right, I don't have it up right now. I had an alien statue in the old set. I'm a fan of the movie Alien. Never worshipped it. But you can't tell that to people that want to live in the Middle Ages. It says earlier it was reported that the Taliban destroyed the statue of Hazar leader Abu al-Mazari, who had fought against the Taliban during the Civil War in the 1990s. And again, it goes on to mention all of the various statues and things that have been destroyed by the religion of peace. Friends, where do you even begin? You know, they were, we're going to get to it in a minute. UNICEF was one of them. Leaders, charity leaders, world leaders, they believed the Taliban when they said that they were going to be martyred. They believed them when they said that they were going to honor women's rights within Islam. That wasn't true. What they meant to say, and they didn't say, because they knew what it would bring, that they would bring, they would honor, excuse me, Islam, women's rights within the sphere of Sharia law, Islam, which they believe is the true Islam. What's funny is, if someone will have an open mind, you can prove that things, for instance, in the Bible, even though it's not politically correct to say, you can prove that they pretty much happened the way it was written in the Bible. Islam is that's simply not the case. And those who dare question it can be killed. And even those who are Islamic may not be Islamic enough to satisfy Sharia law. So now we have them burning down amusement parks and blocking the roads that Americans and Afghanistan, Afghanis, I should say, who helped America, they can't even get to the airport. And this has all happened under the watch of Joe Biden. Was I in favor of leaving the Middle East? You bet. But leaving like this? No. So, we know that elections have consequences, don't we? So what are we going to do? Well, we can share the video I just showed you. We can share everything that I just said and let others know that this cannot go on. And if the people stand together, the people stand united, at least we can show what kind of folly leads to this mess so that we can elect less people like Joe Biden who caused this kind of a mess. That's to correct you. Please share. Good night, friends. God bless.